Well, I don't think he did enjoy it. Uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's funny how memory, like those clips get played. There's about two or three clips when Torch was on the panel. And, uh, you know, he said the quiz sucked a couple times. And, and those get played so much in our top ten lists that I think it, it almost distorts the reality of what Torts was like. Because Torts, first of all, I love the guy. He was a super nice guy, completely different than I think what people think from the rants that happen after the games. And for the most part, coaches are different when they're not coaching. I think the pressure of being an NHL coach, nobody really understands. It's 24-7, right? And when they're away from the job, they're, they're such nice guys for the most part, right? And they're laid back. And uh, In Tort's case, I believe that the only reason he took the job at TSN was to, was to show that he wasn't this raving lunatic that you see in the post-game scrums. I think that's why he took the job. He wanted to show people that I can be a quiet, rational guy. So if you watched every appearance that Tort's made on TSN, he was only with us for a few months before he got the Rangers job. Uh, I think the Rangers job, I lose track, but um, he was kind of boring and he wanted to be boring. He really, he, you know, he didn't have those wild opinions that he has post game. And I was really fighting to get stuff out of him. But it was only once in a while when he got really engaged that he'd, he'd get to be torts. But I, I just love the guy. He just did, he didn't really want to be on TV. The funny part is I can remember sitting around having pizza before a game and it was me, Bob, and Torts, and, and Torts says, you know, I love this. I love every part of this. I love hanging around with you guys, talking hockey, eating pizza. I just wish I didn't have to go on TV. <laughs> and I remember going, well, Torts, that's kind of the reason you're here, is the TV part. But uh, so he wasn't, I don't think he was as outlandish as people remember because of those clips. But uh, he's a good guy, and it's funny, uh, whenever I uh, text Torts about something, he, whatever he responds, he always finishes the text with the quiz sucks. So it, <laughs> it, it never leaves him. He's in the book too. And that's one of, one of my favorite chapters in the book is Torts tells a couple of stories and Marty St. Louis and Brad Richards tell a couple of stories about Torts that are some of my favorites.